Sean, are you raring to go after a bit of a false start last week? Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, obviously, it was disappointing last week. We, uh, we couldn't get the game on, but um, now the lads are ready. Uh, we've had a few really good weeks uh, training now, so yeah, looking forward to getting back out there. Well, everybody else has been watching the World Cup of Qatar. What, is it, what has it been like for you guys? Not quite as relaxed? Uh, well, yeah, we've been obviously we've we've been in training, but um, it's kind of worked well in our schedule to be fair. So we've always been able to get home for the games and stuff like that. So now I really enjoyed it. It was a, a good World Cup. I thought just shame England and win it. Well, quite. <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever you finished the break, but or finished just before the break. Um, it was with a draw against St Johnson. The squad at that point looked as if it was picking up little injuries and stuff. Do you feel as if you're all in a better shape now after we benefit have benefited from that break? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously you're always going to have injuries in the squad, but um, for us that was almost like a mini pre-season, um, a chance to uh, have a bit of rest and then rebuild to go again. So hopefully come back stronger for the second half of the season. After not playing much football, I guess you won't mind. It's a bit of an intense schedule coming back into it because there'll be plenty of games to get stuck into. Nah, yeah, definitely. Um, you always want to be playing games, so uh, uh, give us a, a break from the training ground. But um, it's about picking up points now and getting to where we want to be. How do you find the Christmas period as a footballer? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a strange one, especially like when you're away from home, you, you can kind of almost feels like it's not Christmas sort of thing so um, yeah for me it would just be head down getting on with the games best way to make up for it get three points yeah 100% uh, if we get a load of them over the Christmas it'll make it a lot better it feels as if a lot has been crammed into motherwell seasons already with you know, the, the disappointment of the Sligo Rovers result and Graham Alexander going Stephen Hamill coming in how would you rate how, how you guys have been so far this season have you met the expectations within the squad or do you think there's there's more to come? No, I definitely think there's more to come. Um, obviously the boys have got uh, goals that, that they want to achieve this season. Um, I think there's been plenty of games where where we feel we've been a bit unlucky and if we can uh, t touch up on some of them, we can change them from where we've had some losses where we believe we should have been winning the game. Eddie? Sorry, the, the home form uh, this season has been obviously been very disappointed. That's something you've really been working on, you know, for, during this break to try, and, to try and pick that up. Because, I mean, I don't think you've won since August, I think. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, this should should be a tough place to come for other teams. So, um, I think if we can improve that, then obviously the, the table, you'd see where, we, where we'd be if we picked up the usual amount of points that we normally would at Fat Park. Okay. I can you know, for Saturday to, to do that and give, give the fans something to cheer about. Yeah, definitely. Like like we said, that was that was the main goal last week. Um, obviously, the game wasn't on, but um, yeah, bringing home three points would be brilliant. Yeah.